Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. If you trade multiple strategies or you trade uh, the same strategy but on multiple instruments, it's quite important to know how the strategies work together. Ideally, you have to create a portfolio from this um, backtesting results and check its performance. Unfortunately, in trading you uh, using standard tools, you cannot do that, but I will show you a way how you can do this in Excel. And it's not like a perfect solution, it will require some work to do that, but still it works. So if you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to create more and better content for you. So here I have one of my strategies um, and let's assume that I want to trade the strategies for three um, uh, pairs at the same time. So it's Ethereum USD, Bitcoin USDT and Ripple USDT. So as you can see, performance seems to be pretty good, but issue is that crypto is uh, highly correlated. So I want to be sure that together all these uh, three strategies uh, will work together well as well. So what I will try to do now, so I'll try to combine backtesting of these uh, three strategies together in one backtest. And I will try to do that in Excel. So first thing you have to do that, you need to export data from, from uh, your um, uh, trading view to uh, Excel. And what we need, we need like list of trades data. So there are a few ways you can do that, but the easiest one is to install auto your plugin. Uh, usually uh, people use auto view plugin to um, automate uh, trading on different crypto exchanges but i need it for this export button when you install this plugin you will see this button and you can just click this button and you will see a message that uh, data is copied to your clipboard press ok go to your excel and just paste it and you will see here you have all the information about your book test you know like your parameters your like uh, basic uh, metrics and here you will see just all the trades we need for our analysis so now let's delete all redundant information and keep only things we need for portfolio so first of all i will delete all this information here up here and just will leave only trades so here are trades and first I will just delete all the rows for the entries. So I need only profit and I don't need all these entries without it. So uh, to do, in order to do that, I will use a filter. And I will just uh, filter out on all the blanks and here are all our entries. I will just select that and I will just delete it. So now let's... Uh, use select all as a filter again and here you can see all the information we need and from that i need only um, date time and profit profit percent actually so let's delete all the other columns so that's it as you can see it's quite a simple so now we have like date time for for a strategy and a profit so for we have all the trades here where, where when trade ended and what profit it had actually that's enough for us to create a portfolio of strategies so i already did the same for bitcoin usdt and ripple usdt so just to save some uh, time for this video so now let's go and create a portfolio based on uh, these uh, track records for the strategies so first thing I have to do is I need to go and uh, find all unique date times for all trades I have across all strategies. So for that I will just go and copy all my dates and times and just paste it in one column. And the last one is a ripple. And so now I have all possible uh, trade uh, date and times in one column. Now you can go to remove duplicates function in Excel. Just click OK and so as you can see 17 duplicates were deleted now we have all unique date and times and now let's also go and sort it and um, so now we have like only unique date times and they're sorted so that's good so i will just copy it a few rows um, to, to the bottom and now let's uh, add here our performances uh, from uh, this uh, this sheets. So here I will add um, column names. So for all my uh, strategies, so Ethereum uh, USDT. Uh, here it will be the 
this USDT. And here it will be um, XRP USDT. So that's it. And now we have to create the formula to copy corresponding PNL from the sheet to my a new table uh, with all uh, PNLs. So it will be pretty tricky formula, but uh, we have to do that. So first I will use xlookup function. And here you have like three arguments basically. So first you need to specify what do you want to uh, look for. So this is our um, um, data we want to look at. And also I will add round function for it. I need to do that because um, a lookup has some weird behavior for for date times and with the round it will work fine. And next I need to specify where do I want to search for this value. So I will go to my Ethereum USD sheet and I will just uh, said that I want to find it here. So from so basically in my first uh, column. So that's um, that's quite it. But also what I will do, I will use my um, dollar sign here just so I will enable extend the formula. It won't uh, break up. So also um, round five here as well. And third argument is what I want this uh, function to return. And I want to return my profit. So that's it. And so the last thing I will I want, what I want is that I want to, if there will be an error, so basically if it won't be found, I will just want to return a zero instead of uh, my my um, uh, my PNL. So I will also fix uh, my numbers here, and let's see how it works. So you can see we have zero now. Let's extend it, and as you can see, actually we got performance uh, for Ethereum USD, so it's quite nice and easy. So next we can do the same basically for Bitcoin and XRP. We just need to uh, change a few things. So first one, we need to change um, a sheet name just to this is BTC, USDT. And for the um, number, I will say, set here like random big number just not to go there and not to do exactly that. And here it should be also uh, BTC, USD. T. So let's see. Let's say let's save it and let's extend it for Bitcoin as well. So that's nice. And let's do the same for XRP. Let's extend XRP as well. So that's it. Now we have performance and it seems to work pretty good. So let's just um, fix uh, um, the format of our returns so we can see it better. So we have all returns in one place. So now let's go and compute a weighted return for the portfolio. So the first thing I will do is I will create like another uh, like a row here with weights for all my um, strategies. You can change these weights later to play around with them. And so let's do uh, equally for now. And um, now I will create like a portfolio column and here it will be, a formula will be pretty easy. So I need to multiply that um, by uh, our weight and I will uh, fix uh, the weight here. And um, we'll do the same for all others uh, strategies. So it will be C, this is C, and this is D. So that's it, this is our portfolio return. And let's just extend it to entire uh, data set we have. So this is performance uh, for our portfolio. So now it's quite easy to compute, for example, equity for our portfolio as well. So let's start, for example, with uh, 100,000, as usually you see uh, kind of a starting equity in a trading view and the formula will be uh, super easy. Just let's multiply that by our current um, return for our current uh, date time. And um, of course, I need to add here uh, plus one. So this is our next equity and let's extend it to entire data set. And you can see uh, this is uh, basically our equity across our portfolio, across all the strategies. 
So the last thing you have to do is to compute some metrics to understand um, how good is your uh, uh, portfolio. So um, you can start with simple ones, just to compute your return is quite easy. You just have to uh, divide your ending um, equity by your um, first equity and subtract one. Just make this percent. And this is our return for like entire period of our portfolio. To compute other more, more, more advanced metrics, it will um, be a bit more complicated, but it's also not so uh, complicated. For example, let's compute max drop-down. So um, what I will do here, I will create a drawdown column and I will compute drawdown first, and after that I will compute max drop-down. So to compute drawdown, it's also quite easy. So what we have to do is we need to divide uh, your, our current equity to um, max equity from the first, uh, I will fix this value to our uh, current equity. And um, after that, we have to, to, subtract, um, to subtract one from it as well. So let's uh, extend it to see how it works. So it seems to work well. And uh, to compute our um, max drop down, what we have to do, we have to find minimum from like entire column. So let's uh, add it here. And let's execute it. And as you can see, our uh, drawdown is minus uh, like almost 12%. So it's not so uh, bad. So in this video, I, I used a pretty simple example. I had only one year of data. I had only three strategies, but you can use much more data, more strategies. I think Excel can handle that. You can compute more metrics. You can plot your performance. You can do pretty much whatever you want here. And I think this solution is not perfect. You have to work on it a bit, but I think it can be viable for you just to understand quickly how your strategies will work together. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you.